Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Knight Tales. Before we dive in, please show your support, give this video a like and be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss future videos. So let's get started. The first story. Creepy encounter at the gas station. Early this morning, around 7.45 AM, I stopped to get gas before going to work. As I was putting my card away I could feel eyes on me and looked back to see a guy looking at me. He had pulled up in a beat up yellow car. He looked to be in his 20s, white guy covered in scabs and looked strung out or just out of it. He didn't look angry, but he wasn't smiling and looked really serious. The other guy was maybe in his 40s. It made me really uncomfortable because he wouldn't break his gaze, at one point he even pointed at me and said something to the other guy in the car with him, the driver. I quickly hopped back in my car while my car fueled up. As I sat in my car I grabbed my pepper spray because I felt really unsafe. I noticed that the guy in front of me, a tall black man that looked to be about 30, was standing at the trash can throwing something away, but was watching the guy that was looking at me. He looked over at me and we made eye contact, he looked back at the guy then made his way to my car. He came up to my window smiling and said hey miss I'll take care of this for you. It's really cold out. Just stay in your car and I'll take care of this, pointing to the gas pump. As he handed me the receipt he asked if I knew the guys and I said no. I thanked him and he walked back to his truck. We pulled out of the parking lot together. But he pulled off to the side of the road to let me pass then followed me to the stop sign. I went the opposite direction of him and thankfully the yellow car hadn't left the gas station yet. Edited, typos. The second story. Man in the window with a knife asking about my sister. Not sure if this is creepy but this happened in August 2021 my parents were out for the night it was just me and my sister home. This was in Manchester UK it was around 1 am and I was sat in my kitchen eating food and on my phone. I hear tap tap on the window and look up and there was a man in a balaclava waving a knife around it didn't really scare my eye just started swearing and asking who are you. I live in area where people casually flash knives around, he didn't say anything and was just scoping out the kitchen like he was looking for something and he asked how's my sister. Then a few seconds later my front door bell rings and the man says someone's at your door. I don't know how he heard the door bell because it's hardly noticeable from the kitchen let alone outside, but that's when I SHT myself because my front door was unlocked. I grabbed a knife and walked towards the front door I can see if someone has stood there because there is a glass panel in it but no one was there I locked the door and went back to the kitchen and the man was gone. I ran straight up to my sister to check on her because it really spooked me out how he asked about her and she was fast asleep I shut her window and checked every window and made sure every door was locked. I strangely didn't think to call the police I stayed up all night and waiting till my parents to get back to report it. My mum always shouted and lectured me whenever I left doors open even in the day she's really paranoid but after that I triple check doors. The third story. Late night gas station encounter. I went out to the store a little over an hour ago and on my way back home, I decided to get some gas. I just got paid today and I was running low I figured that I would be in and out. I get to the gas station and as I'm doing my thing, trying to figure out how to open the gas cap because my car is from 2004 and I didn't know I had to pull a lever inside the car to open it, this young woman stops me and asks if I live on a nearby street that she thought she recognized my car, I'm kind of thrown off by this, honestly just because I have social anxiety and talking to strangers is not my strong suit, and I ask her to repeat herself. She doesn't I tell her no, she apologizes and walks away for a second. Keep in mind that I'm a 19 year old girl, this woman asking me for a ride doesn't seem too much older, maybe in her early to mid 20s, I go back to trying to figure out my gas cap and she stops me again this time asking for a ride over to the street she mentioned before because she lives there and doesn't have a ride. I awkwardly agreed and I think she sensed my discomfort because she starts saying that she would walk, but it's really cold out so she'd prefer not to. I tell her okay and that I just have to get gas really quickly. At this point, I'm kind of hiding in my car, I'm looking up how to open my gas cap because I still haven't figured it out and also thinking about how I'm gonna drive away without feeling like a total dick for not helping this lady out if she really just needs help. 
Finally, I figure out the gas cap and she's gone. I didn't see where she went, but I figured that I shouldn't stay much longer to find out. I get gas and very quickly leave. After I get home, I check my car around the areas where she was standing, just to double check that she didn't put a tracker on my car or something. There's nothing wrong as far as I can see, but I'm going to have my boyfriend check it out when he gets home. I'm conflicted. I don't know if I did a really douchey thing and assumed the worst or if my gut instinct was right. I know that traffickers often use women as bait to kidnap girls, which is why I'm so unsure of the whole interaction. On my way home, I called my best friend just so that I could tell someone what I just experienced and so that at least one person knew where I was. She brought up a good point that if this girl needed a ride, how did she get to the gas station in the first place? I don't know. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.